What's going on, everybody? Fragged out, swagged out. You already know why I am here. Today, we're talking about this amazing fragrance um, that I kind of feel like is getting slept on, even within the people who understand the amazing fragrances that Scent of Wood um, are putting out. This right here is one of my favorite top two, three, maybe, of the house, and this is Oud and Calvados. And Oud and Calvados is, uh, I go to the website and I see the ones that are sold out um, on their website. They have Plum and Cognac, which obviously oldie in terms of the brand, but goody like up there in the top. Um, vetiver and Oak, uh, Praline and Maple, and even one of the brand new ones, Vanilla and Bourbon. And I see there's still plenty of Oud and Calvado, and I don't know if people are just sleeping on it or maybe they already sold out and restocked, but this is an amazing, amazing composition that I don't think it's talked about enough. So um, I loved it enough to get a full bottle um, and I, I do do the monthly subscriptions. I, I test each one out and based on what I get there, I purchase my fragrances. And this was one that as soon as I got it, I purchased it immediately. I love this fragrance. So let's talk about the fragrance. Um, First of all, uh, the notes here are going to be Calvados. And if you don't know what Calvados is, it is a brandy that derives from apple. So it's a sort of like cognac in, in that um, type of uh, boozy kind of um, notes is going to give off the, the fragrance. But it derives from apple. So it's going to have some fruity apple tendencies with that booziness. It's not going to be overly boozy. It's going to be nice and balanced off of that apple. Uh, you're going to get pink pepper. You're going to get bergamot. You're going to get cacao absolute, oak wood, rose de mai, cedar wood, cedar wood oil, and oud. Now, from all those notes, let's go ahead and, you know, reapply that and get that opening blast once again which i love yeah man that cup first of all i've never drank calvados but based on this scent i can only assume that it's one of the most amazing tasting brandies it's just not readily available here in the united states um so you're gonna get that boozy blast but it's a very fruity boozy blast think cognac with like apple skins on it like chopped up apples inside almost like a sangria with apples but instead of the wine you have cognac very fruity boozy blast it comes up and it's brightened up by the uh by the citrus that's provided in here the bergamot as the fragrance um starts to transition you're gonna get more of that pink pepper and that rose de mai blended so it, it smells more like a uh spicy floral composition that's starting to develop in there. It, it doesn't get overly rosy. And it's kind of surprising when you consider the Rose de Mai being such an um, expensive added note to this. Also, when you consider this Oud in there, that they wouldn't highlight more the Rose de Mai, but there's a lot of strong notes in here that are working together. So one particular thing is not going to be overly highlighted here. You get that spicy floral thing happening but that boozy apple thing that's going on the top is still um very much active you're still gonna get a lot of that that's why i love this fragrance so much because even when it gets down to the very dry down you still get touches of that boozy apple that it opened and if that were not the case this would not be a love for me as much as it is um you're also gonna get a very healthy blast of that cedar and I guess it's because they doubled up on cedar here um, you get almost that woody effect that you get when you walk into a shop class and freshly cut uh, wood throughout the room and sawdust all over the place like there is a woody um, aspect to this there that is just so realistic and then of course I had to drive that over here which is why I keep going back and forth then of course you have that oud. And that oud adds this level of darkness and woodiness that only oud really can provide to a fragrance. Does it behave ultraly oudy? Nope, not at all. This is not the oud you're expecting from a Bortnikov. This is not the oud you're expecting from a Russian Adam. This is a very tamed, 
clean oud, very smooth oud. It works to just give the overall composition some darkness, some extra woodiness in a way that cedar is not going to do it for you. This adds a very dark element to it, but still staying true to that oud calvado smell, to the actual apple that's in there, to, to, the, to the boozy that's in there. All of these different um, aspects of the fragrance develop at different times, but they all come together at about the middle of the dry down all the way to the full dry down on skin when it's just a skin scent. And what you're going to get at the very end is that dark wood with touches of booze and a slight apple. The apple really dies down at the very end, but you still get um, a little bit of that booze that is still alive blending with that cedar and that oud. That cacao, the pink pepper, and the rose that might kind of play a very, very deep, deep back in the fragrance and just add to the overall composition. They never get overly highlighted. So the stars here are gonna be the oud calvados, that cedar, and that oud. If that sounds like something that you would like, you need to check out uh, Sense of Wood they have the smaller bottles that you can buy. Uh, they have the monthly subscriptions, which allow you to test all the fragrances out. They come out on a yearly basis. They come with candles and incense that you can burn up, uh, the little paper ones. So there is a lot that you get out of the monthly subscription. And additionally, you find out what you like without having to test individual fragrances out on your own. For me, this was one of the ones that I had to buy immediately, which is why I find the monthly subscription to be a bonus uh, personally, but it's not for everybody, I understand. This right here though, if you like boozy fragrances, if you like that combo of that cedar and that oud, how that kind of works together. So essentially woody fragrances with a dark oud element and that apple boozy, addition from the Calvados, then this right here is an amazing fragrance. Again, I think the super slept on. I always hear Plum and Cognac, which is a masterpiece, which is back there. And I will do a review of that, even though it's kind of already done. But as long as it's on the market, people are still going to want to be looking for it. So if you want my opinion on it, it will be coming soon. Um, that's all I have for you, folks. Check out Ud Calvados. Subscribe to this channel. If this was informative to you in any way and you liked the video, give me a like. And if you have any questions or any comments that you want to add, and again, if you want to give me a recommendation, I'm always open to recommendations. Go ahead and leave all that in the comment. I always read them and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. This is Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and I'm out.